Hello everyone, this is ASMRF today welcoming you to my new illustrator tutorial and today I'll show you the whole process of how I make a photography logo. So if you're new in my channel, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I do go at first to the font collection in a manual uh, like uh, the font way if I make the logo photography logo with the font then at first I go I usually go to the dafont.com or other stuff type uh, like a font download free resource website and find out the calligraphy type fonts that means it could be like a calligraphy like a handwriting sometimes the handwritten font it could be so suppose this one or other one so at first i usually do that so this suppose this font i do like that and i'll just open up in new window and here is the options to check out the how will be the font if i give some text over there suppose i want to write down aj or gd gd yes and submit yeah it look like that and if i make it larger then it will be bigger or it will show me how it will be like that and i do like study about the script other scripts like if is there any the special cases a line or dotters and i do also read down the license agreement and then download that font and it will take time to download uh, sometimes and i do save that in my directory and after that right press and show in a folder and then right press and extract this one i do like to do that so extract this one and set up set it up in my pc so taking time okay and then i do go to the illustrator uh, why i just design the photography logo in illustrator just because of sometimes it needs to be go to the you know, press and in that case i have to make it the cmrk color mode and eps file and which is a uh, most common scenario to the press and this in this one is the relevant format to go with the paste and just print out over there so then file and new options and then take a new canvas like thousand by thousand and hit the create button and after that and what's the name of that font that is the classy beautiful that is the font and copy like that text tool and load them up some demo text and make it bigger and then find out that font suppose this one yeah uh, I have to select this one and then paste the name over there yeah it could be like that but what will be the name suppose the name is the AJ so take another text and write down AJ or JB or JK whatever neat name of that photographer suppose uh, RP or R and P it could be r r j uh, or r r r and r e and r a like that and r l and l r it could be so l t and l p it could be so suppose this one is our name l p and then i do right press and create outline and then go to the ellipse tool and just make a circle like this yeah like this and turn off the fill color and give the stroke like black color and then make the thickness of the stroke like 5 pt or like yeah 4 pt 3 pt that's good and then just object and expand this one and hit the ok button and why i have done this just because of i want to make the shape or stroke like in a shape so if i outline this one or expand this one uh, stroke just convert it into a shape so 
and then just take a line like that but i want to make the line in the middle of these circles so select this circle and the key of the subject key subject is a circle and then the align like this and this one so i do select all the things and press shift and just leave this one the font or write up and then go to the window and pathfinder tool so here is the pathfinder tool and just divide this one and right press ungroup and just delete this portion and this portion uh, here is another portion so this portion okay ellipse tool and select this one like circle yeah that's good and make it a stroke and then yeah that's good and this one this stroke and again go to the text tool and type in a path tool and select once write down something like okay photography so here is some lines and you have to adjust this one like this yeah actually this one okay that's good so you can give the space between the letters two letters so character and here is the options and gradually i do increase this one 350 that's cool and adjust this one adjust this one as well so yeah here is the portion yeah that's good you can make it more space like 600 that's cool and adjust this one with this okay can adjust like that so here's the options you can make like that the alignment the middle alignment so photography that's cool it could be a logo and make it smaller like that so select all the things like uh, the circle and the type and make it a little bit smaller like that yeah it could be a logo and that's the easiest way to make the photography type logo and how to save this one and how to use this one to your photography so suppose select these things and press ctrl s and you have to select this one in ai format so i'm giving the name logo and then saving this one and then here i'll take two background suppose this one the black one and just press the alter button and another one but i'll make it the white one so this one and make group for the safety purpose and ctrl c ctrl f and select this black background and make the alignment in the middle so if you want to get the alignment tool over here get go to the window and align so send the black background in a layer and select all the things shift and make it white yeah that's good and then the black one ctrl c ctrl f and select this white portion and here send back to the white layer yeah that's good and then i do uh, just give this logo to my i could make it this one like a png format for my using purpose so right press and export selection and i'll save in my directory and export this one so it will export in uh, like a png format and png you know that the transparent background and i can use that png logo in anywhere so uh, and how to do that suppose you have photoshop and you want to use this logo in your photography so how to do this one yeah photoshop in photoshop you will have to go to the file and open up uh, photography suppose this photography it could be okay then go to the file options and place embedded options and find out that png file suppose you if you want to give the black portion black one to your photography then you can choose the black one and white one if you need so i'm choosing the white one so it will yeah just place 
in one corner or wherever you want so here is the portion the opacity you can down the opacity like this or you can just make the position like uh, here here and anywhere you can make this one so this one is the whole process of my of my process of making logo so you can apply your own so if you need you can ask me any kind of question about this logo making and the designing portion so hope that it will help you out a lot so thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and until the next video i may say my signing out today and bye bye